Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Nisha Samna. And I'm Dale Gandy. Today is Tuesday, January 20th, 17th, and we're here for your daily announcements. The Winter Homecoming Dance is this Saturday, January 21st from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets are on sale now at the student store for $20 without ASP and $15 with. Semi-formal attire is required and the no activities list will be enforced. Link Crew is accepting applications for the 2023-2024 school year. They are looking for juniors, sophomores, and a select group of ninth graders who have been successful at COHS and serve as positive role models for younger students. Potential leaders are compassionate, engaged, dedicated, spirited, and passionate with a desire to improve the overall climate of the campus. Now, let's pass on over to Tad for wins and fails. What's up, y'all? I'm Tad Shelton. These are your wins and fails. First, a win because Kanye is a married man again, but also a fail because she's 17 years younger than him. Kind of a sugar die situation. Anyway, it's only been two months since he finalized his divorce with Kim, but he's got himself a new wifey, and her name is Bianca Sensory, who is an architectural designer for Yeezy. It's suspected that they've been dating even before Yee's divorce had been finalized. I'm not sure what she sees in an anti-Semitic, right-wing Nazi supporter, but at least he made graduation. Next, I went to Brendan Fraser, who won the Critics' Choice for Best Actor in his role as Charlie in The Whale. He gave a very emotional acceptance speech, thanking the director for letting him play the role and to everyone else who made the movie a success. He also gave thanks to the fans, who gave him a second chance in Hollywood, because if you didn't already know, Brendan used to be a pretty big actor until he got divorced, was sexually harassed, gained some weight, and fell into a depression. This award is a sign that we will hopefully be seeing more Brendan Fraser on the big screen. Finally, I failed to the voice of Rick and Morty, Justin Roiland, who was charged with domestic violence. This incident happened in 2020, but the story has just come to light. He's being charged on account of domestic battery with corporal injury and account of false imprisonment. Justin is pleading not guilty to both of these charges. And unfortunately, there aren't any details on the specifics of what went down, but it seems like he might have been a bit high on life. Well, that's all I got, Wolfpack. Back to Nisha and Daniel. Thanks, Tad. Show your school spirit this week. Today is Dynamic Duo on Tuesday. On the, tomorrow, dresses a retro Disney Channel character. Thursday, dresses an album cover. And on Friday, wear all white so you can glow at the Blacklight Rally. Kasuna Sox is hosting a Cash for College workshop this Thursday from 6 to 8. This is an opportunity for students to learn about the opportunities to pay for college and technical schools after high school. With that being said, I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Dale Gandy. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Classy Day, Wolf Pack.